Hello, welcome to this short video on the new and improved calculated metrics. This video is an admin insider, so I'm going to give you all of the heads up tips um, that an admin user will need to know. So if you're not an admin, you don't need to watch this, but if you are, I, I'd recommend it. Okay, so first of all, um, if you haven't seen them already, I've created a number of videos um, that walk through the actual new um, calculated metrics, so the metric selector, the metrics builder, give some examples of how to use uh, segments and how to uh, use functions and different things. So I think those videos would be helpful as a starting point before you watch this video. Okay, so let's get into some of the points that are of importance. Um, so first of all, global metrics. So basically now any metric can be used on any report suite. Um, each report sheet has its own master report suite, um, and which is used to determine dimensions and metrics. But um, by when we say global, that doesn't necessarily mean universally applicable. So there may be scenarios where one metric um, from one report suite may not make sense in another report suite or on another report. So you need to be careful of that. Now, if you're selecting metrics, the metric selector will be by default set to the report suite that the user is in. And so this, uh, in order to see other global metrics, they'd actually have to deselect the uh, default setting here, which is the, the, the report suite that they were in. On the metric side, if you're building a um, calculated metric and you want to choose a different report suite, um, you can basically go to the top there, change that, and you'll get a drop down of the different report suites within the company. So the next thing is migrating calculated metrics. So previously you would have calculated metrics that were created in reports. So in reports and analytics, uh, people would be in a report, they'd create a calculated metric. Um, you or another admin user might have created a report suite level calculated metric. So in the admin tools, you could go in and create a report suite uh, level calculated metric. Uh, and then lastly, you can create calculated metrics in ad hoc analysis. And so basically unified all of these into one uh, unified backend on the calculated metrics. And, and that means a few things. Uh, first of all, you'll notice if you go into the calculated metrics manager, um, there you're going to see now uh, different, um, different variations of the same metric across all of your uh, report suites and so those will be and then you might see multiple instances of the same um, metric. The other thing you'll notice is that because the report suite level calculated metrics had no owner essentially we've assigned the owner to an admin user and that admin user is typically as indicated by the beard the oldest admin user within your your company. So what that means is any admin user can actually edit any of the um, global metrics or any of the metrics um, in that. So it's not just limited to that person, but every calculated metric needed to have an owner. And so we went with the oldest um, admin user in your company login. So another key point here about segment and metric references is segments are used in calculated metrics as references, not copies. So previously in ad hoc analysis, when you created a segmented metric, so basically a metric that was dependent upon a segment, it took a copy of that segment. And what that meant that if that segment changed down the line, because um, it was just taken at, as a snapshot or as a copy at the time that the calculated metric was made, it would not update to reflect the new segment, any variations or changes or edits to that segment. So going forward, in reports and analytics, all of the new calculated metrics that you create will be referenced to the segments. Um, so they won't be copies. So what that means is if you create a calculated metric using a segment and that segment is changed um, over time, then that calculated metric will be tied to those changes in the segment. However, it's important to note, just because we want to preserve the user experience on the ad hoc side, those will continue to be copies, and so we'll not be 
changing those uh, at this time to references. So they will continue to be just copies. The other thing to note, deleted metrics or segments will continue to work in metrics, dashboards, bookmarks, and, and scheduled reports. But there are a couple of things that uh, will happen. Uh, you won't be able to preview the metric or segment anymore if it's deleted, and you won't be able to edit it because it'll be gone. However, you know, as I mentioned here, metrics, dashboards, bookmarks, and schedule reports will continue to work even though the uh, metric or segment was deleted. So in terms of metric sharing, um, it works very similar to segment sharing in the sense that only admin users can share with all of the organization. Um, users can only share with other individual users. Uh, I want to point out that you'll notice there's a slight icon difference there. That icon is for a metric template, so when we introduce the segments, we had a segment template. Very similar to that, we have some pre-built common metrics that we've seen that a lot of customers are using, and so we've pre-built um, some metric templates that you can leverage. If you're using the API, specifically the Analytics Admin API, there's some new there's a new set of API methods that you should be aware of. Um, so those are listed here for getting metrics, for creating new metrics, or deleting calculated metrics. And lastly, if uh, I've provided you with high-level details, there's a lot more information, a lot more nuanced stuff that that maybe you'll come across or need more information. If so, you can go to this link here. Um, in the help documentation for FAQs and in more detailed information. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you get value out of the, the new, um, new and improved calculated metrics. We're really excited about them. I think there's going to be a lot of um, great value there and, and we're excited to release them to our customers. Thank you.